Weasel News. What's up guys, Officer First 30 Minutes here. Today we are doing another parking enforcement episode. We are with the Parking Enforcement Division of LSPD and we are, oh my gosh, street race event. We're specifically looking for cars that have uh, unpaid meters as well as cars that are legally parked. And with the Traffic Policer mod from Albo1125, we can issue tickets. So let's go ahead and check this meter out, see uh, if it's red, green, what we got here. All right, this meter is red. So we're going to go ahead and issue a parking ticket. We have a traffic alert in uh, Rockford Hills for breaking and entering. Okay, reporting in a wheelie parked vehicle. It's a Ferrari GT. <laughs> A3 GDT312 around Porto Luda, Porto Luda Drive. Um, I think that's how you say it. Drive. Target vehicle license plate, uh, 83 George David. I really need to learn my code for using letters. Um, I just don't know it off the top of my head, unfortunately. Hi, Mr. Crawford. Okay. So that parking ticket was issued for an empty meter. We'll hop back in the car, drive around, see what else we find. Last episode, we found a bunch of cars that are parked against street curbs that were marked red. As you can see, that curb to my left is red. I believe that's for emergency vehicles like a fire engine if they need to get onto scene. Uh, they have a spot to pull up right to the incident. So we found a lot of cars like that. I'm going to be ignoring all different types of call outs for this patrol since we're just specifically focusing on parking enforcement. That's why I didn't go after any of those street racers, but uh, that was incredibly dangerous what they were doing. It's also the traffic police mod that creates all those ambient events we were seeing like uh, un or what is it unworthy road vehicle and uh, street racing there are a couple other ones such as using cell phone while driving and there's another one I think it's use it driving a motorcycle without a helmet such as that gentleman is doing there let's go ahead and take a left really the best parking enforcement areas are just in uh, in the city specifically we're in Rockford Hills right now and just looking around for cars. I, oh, I see two cars over there that are illegally parked. Let me just pull out across here. Yep, they're both parked on this red barrier. So let's hop out of the car, issue ticket tickets for them. Right, we're gonna issue one for both of these for being parked illegally. Sometimes we'll find a random vehicle just parked in the middle of the road. Just all depends. So this is a penumbra. We have an illegally parked vehicle in Rockford Hills. Target vehicle license plate uh zero two Adam William Boy eight nine six Code for Adam. Proceed with patrol. Okay. Ticket was issued. And we call it to dispatch as well. So they have an immediate record of any parking tickets. This is a Rocado. This is a Dorset Drive. It's really cool uh, the animation you get of radio radioing it into dispatch. As well as this little dialogue sequence you get. It's about to be some street racers. There they go. They always crash into each other like that. Driving so fast. Alright, let's hop back in the vehicle. See what else we can find today. 
I believe in most cities, uh, parking enforcement is a separate thing from the police department. Mainly because uh, the meter maids, at least I see around my city, they're definitely not sworn in police officers. They're just simply writing tickets for revenue purposes for the city and then sometimes for the local university downtown. So Los Santos operates a little differently in my version of it. Okay, we got a no parking sign right here. We got two vehicles parked. So we'll go ahead, pull over and issue citations for them. Got this little smart car type vehicle. That's what I'll call it. I am, I've mentioned it so many times before. I'm terrible with the in-game names of these vehicles. What is this? This is the Panto. Looks like a smart car to me. License plate is 02EZ T749. We're on Magellan Avenue. We've had it more towards Del Perro Beach now. You should not be in a no parking anytime zone. It's pretty bad. Okay, citation is issued. Now let's get this one as well. All right, that's good to go. Let's head back to the patrol vehicle. These other cars seem to be okay. Actually, we got two cars over here against a red curb. Never a good thing. What is this? Another jackal? Got a lot of jackals right here. No, this is a felon. I really wish uh, someone would make a Crown Vic with the yellow lights so we could have a kind of security get up. I think that would be perfect for this parking enforcement type patrols. And that way I could turn on the lights when issuing citations. But I think most meter maids or parking enforcement people will just go on foot for the most part. It just doesn't make sense to hop in a vehicle uh, and they get out constantly every time you're issuing tickets. So the red curb tickets, they're going to be $50 each. The no parking at any time, they're also going to be $50 citations. No meters are $5 citations. And as I come across other ones, I will make up more monetary values to charge them. <laughs> All right, let's cross the street here and not get hit. Okay. So if we pull out here, perfect. That went really well. We'll head into this parking lot too and see if we can find anything. So stop sign, my turn next. Do they have a stop sign? I'm not sure. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's head into the parking lot, see what we got, if we have anything in here. Make sure everyone is parked in between their lines. So I'm patrolling this parking lot because it is city property. It's a public parking lot. Uh, obviously, you want to have parking enforcement patrol a private parking lot, but everybody seems to be okay. There's no meters uh, in this parking lot either. Citizens report a civilian requiring assistance in the Totally going Barrow. the wrong way in this parking lot, but I'm just checking it out, making sure everyone is parked appropriately. Make sure nobody is double parked. Hey, 
Okay, everything seems good to me here. We'll head out of this parking lot and see what else we can find. Now we're in Vespucci Canals and we got a car blocking a fire hydrant. That is a pretty steep penalty, a $100 citation. It's important for cars not to block those fire hydrants in case there is a fire. We need firefighters able to connect to that fire hydrant as quickly and efficiently as possible. And I think this is a jackal that's blocking it. I'm trying to learn these car names. It's only going to get worse. It is a jackal. It's only going to get worse as I start replacing more and more cars because I'm not going to remember the original car I replaced it with. We have an illegally parked vehicle in. Uh, but right now, I would say 95% of my vehicles are the normal GTA 5 cars. I've only replaced a handful of cars so far. So we're on Magellan Avenue again in Vespucci. Okay, citation was issued, and we can continue our patrol. Fired. Okay, we got three vehicles right here parked in the bicycle lane. That's not good. It's going to be a $25 citation for blocking the bicycle lane. You can't park in the bicycle lane. Come on, guys. This is for bicyclists uh, so they don't have to worry about riding with traffic and getting hit by a car. So all these are going to get tickets. The Panto. We have an illegally parked vehicle in. Uh, I hope to see Albo 1125. Kind of expand upon the parking five, citation north, part, maybe. Right. I'm trying to think of what nine, could be nine, added to nine, the mod to kind of. Code for Adam I don't know. Patrol. Add more depth to the issuing the parking tickets. Uh, I'll think about it. I feel like some other things can be added, uh, maybe the ability to get a car towed, but you can kind of already do that with police radio anyway, so might not we be necessary. I'll brainstorm a little, and, and if I have suggestions, I'll uh, message him on uh, lcpdfr.com and let him know. But I know he watches my videos. Right now, it's pretty fun just to give parking tickets. Adam, proceed with patrol. Okay, this is the last one in the bicycle lane. Maybe the ability to add a wheel lock on the car. Maybe here here's an idea. An you when you give a citation, in, uh, if the vehicle already has a record of having a few citations on it, uh, you have the ability to add a wheel number, lock to the car. So the person has to pay to get it off. Maybe something like that. I think that would be interesting. So we got a surge, which is basically a Chevy vault here. All right, all of them have received parking tickets. We have a truck. Got another vehicle blocking a fire hydrant. Let's pull it over here and issue a ticket let me know if I should be towing the cars blocking the fire hydrants or just issuing a ticket let me know what you would do we'll go with the group uh, vote on that whatever receives the most votes will is what I'm gonna do in future episodes so let me know would you get this car towed or just issue a heavy citation for parking in front of the fire hydrant we have an illegally parked I could also look in, up uh, Del Sol. Los Angeles parking uh, code and see if that's a towable offense. I'm pretty sure it is. George, King, George, okay. Nine, that's going to do it for today's nine, patrol, parking four, enforcement four, patrol. Adam, patrol. I hope to do maybe some more private security patrols in the future once we get a security Crown Vic type car. I might try to work on it myself, just mess around with the textures and see if I can get anything resembling a security car out of it. Thanks guys for watching. Leave me your suggestions for future episodes as always. 
and I'll see you guys on the next patrol. Hey guys, I just briefly wanted to plug my Twitter and Facebook pages. Definitely check them out. I post the latest updates about when videos are coming out, if I'm delayed, exclusive pictures, when I do my t-shirt giveaway. I'm going to be doing it through the Facebook page, so make sure to check those out. Links will be in the description. All right, guys.